Hello and welcome back to Elite Geospatial. This is part two of the interpolation video we've been doing. And in this part one, we were able to see how to prepare a distribution map of a lab result. You have a lab result, you have a soil map result or test or anything you've conducted, or you have a metallic uh, uh, metals you've taken. Now, me, I have a heavy metals that I've been able to uh, have the lab results, which we've seen that in part one of this video. Now, we've been able to prepare this distribution map from the part one. We have copper, mercury, and lead. So if you've not watched the part one video, please do go back to watch so that you follow us sequentially, all right, so that uh, you don't miss out on anything. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, so part two, we're going to be looking at how to create the map layout. At GIS desktop, have um, a different interface to that of Arc GIS Pro. Okay, so here if you come down where my mouse is pointing down, you see data view and layout view. So where we are right now is called data view. Now once you are done with everything you are doing like this ones we've done in part one, the next thing you're going to do is to click on this part, layout view and it will take you to where you produce the map. All right, so basically this is our layout view. Now on layout view, you go to file and you come down to what we have as pitch and print setup. Now on pitch and print setup, we have, um, if you have a, a, a printer to print directly, you can do that. I think I have quite some printers that are registered to my system, but I always leave it at. Um, I always leave it at. You should print to PDF, okay? But that's not necessary because I'm not printing, okay? It's both for page setup and it's also for print. That's why you're seeing that printer setup, okay? So now, what paper size is this thing going to be? This is going to be an A3. And then it's going to be a landscape all right so when you come down here we're going to click on the scale map element proportionality to change proportionally to change in page size so it's going to be you know now now when i sabi english and also be you either use this up one or you come down to use this one and a3 is already on that now here our um you our weeds and everything we are in metric system so let's say we use millimeters or let's use centimeter anyone let's see centimeters let's use millimeter i think it's better so you can use this because this is more like um our metric system the up one doesn't have that okay this is map page size this one is paper size so that's the difference we have to set this to up okay i don't know what is in this data driven page but i'm opening for the first time they say enable data driven page so they say an index layer is used to produce multiple output pages using a single layer wow ah. shows the data at different extent okay let's see how this can be i've never thought try this before i have a way of doing it but I've never tried this before. So then let's okay it and see if it's not work, we can, you know, remove it. Okay, it means I can actually put these maps in three different places like this, but that's not what we're looking for. So it's not really what I'm looking for. So let's remove it. Okay. All right, so we okay. All right, so um, here we basically, drive this here right now we've set up this now we want to set up here our scale is showing one is to 0 0.04 that's not a survey scale so i'm going to just expand this 
expand the the view so that by the time I use this to move uh, I'm coming by the time I let me just say it should go to full extent yes Something is wrong from the setup, so let's go back and fix this from the setup. Let's leave this back at the inches. I think that's where I'm. Stop using this and use the up one and see. It's like okay. So yeah. So I think that was why it wasn't moving. So we're back now. All right. So we're going to just expand this and basically show you something. Since the part three is where the main work will be, where we're producing all of this in um, in the three three page we'll put all of them in one so um why don't we just show you how to do this and anything you want you come to you come to um legend pick it up under insert you pick up everything you want from here they will appear you just adjust them so i will see you in the part three video so that we don't waste time the part three will do justice to all of this so i believe that the little explanation even though uh we didn't explain a lot because we'll do much of that in part three you understand how to switch from data view to layout view because the reason why i point out this is because most people when they look at your video they don't know how you switch so i take a little time to explain how you switch between where you work is your data view where you produce the map is your layout view and down here this is layout and this is um layout view then coming up here we have where we set up the page that we're going to use for this whole thing so without any more question i will attend to them on comment session uh, still a book now to subscribe like share comment and I love you. So I will see you in part three where I will explain details of what this entails and how to find a reproduced map. For now, bye bye.